Hi there, I'm Yvonne DeSellis coming to you today on my channel Why Energy in YouTube. Um, this is going to be a pseudo quick video, not, not one of my quickest, but I'm going to show you a couple of different exercises you can do to sedate your triple warmer so that you can relax and calm down during times of stress. Um, I'm also going to show an exercise that I like to call the comfort class. It also sort of uses the triple warmer, but not really. It uses meridians, lung points, and it also gets your left and right hemispheres in sync with each other. So it's a really good comforting move. Before I do show those, just a few logistics. Um, there are introductory videos on my channel on things you can do like for breathing or keeping yourself hydrated. If you want to get into that, there will be a card that shows up at the beginning of this video. You can click and I'll also put a link to that video in the description. But that said, when I talk about Reiki breathing, best breathing methods are breathing through the nose, out through the mouth if possible, and when you're breathing in, have your tongue touching the roof of your mouth. Intentional breathing too, and slowly breathing, that can help with relaxing, and also when you breathe in, rise up a little bit, and when you breathe out, let yourself sink. Those are just my suggestions for helpful Reiki breathing modes, but also wanted to sort of explain what the triple warmer is, what it does, and also want to show you really quickly where the triple warmer meridian is. If you trace the triple warmer meridian, you do it by starting on your ring finger, going up the back of your arm, all the way up to the top, across the shoulder to your neck, to the back of the neck, you trace up, and then you go behind and over the ear, and then you go out to the edge of the eyebrow. That is the triple warmer meridian. But the triple warmer is more than a meridian. Um, when I first started with energy healing, I thought that's all the triple warmer was, and it's way more than that. It's actually its own energy healing system. And what the triple warmer basically is, it's what your body goes to, or, or the resource holder that your body depletes from when you go into fight, flight, or freeze mode. And fight or flight mode goes to early man, when we were first on this planet and literally running from animals that wanted to eat us. And part of the reason we're so sick today, so we have so many problems today, part of it is because we're constantly going into fight, flight, or freeze mode, and there's no need for it. Um, a lot of times, our, our body just hasn't really caught up to the fact that we're no longer running from animals that want to eat us. So a lot of times when we panic, that's what our body goes to. And when that's in action, when our triple warmer's going nuts like that, our immune system doesn't work as well as it should. So learning exercises to sedate the triple warmer can really help your immune system do its job and help you feel better. So I'm gonna show you three exercises. I learned one from Donna Eden and her two daughters, Titania and Dondi. Don, Donna Eden is an energy medicine master in the United States. Her daughter, Dondi Dolan and Titania Dolan, they're both really incredible, but one of the videos I'm gonna show you that I made the comfort class from is a video that I saw by Dondi, and I am going to put a link to Dondi's video because I found it really entertaining, and I think you will as well. But let me just start off with what Donna calls the triple warmer smoothie. I actually just call it the triple warmer sedator. And this is a very good exercise. I always recommend rubbing hands together just to get them nice and warm whenever you start these exercises. I just find it's nice to warm the eyebrow muscles, so having warm hands over it's just a nice feeling to me. It's up to you whether you want to do this or not, although when we get to the triple warm visor, doing this will be necessary if you want to remove cluster headaches, which is another reason I do this. I, I get headaches a lot and I find having warm hands over my eyes to be very comforting. So rub them together and then put them over your eyes and take a breath in. And then on the breath out, you're going to slide them across to your temples. This is a good place to keep them just for a few moments. If you have a headache, you can give your temples a rub. But this is good because this is right on the triple warmer meridian. And then from here, you wanna go, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera. I was just trying to move my chair. You wanna go back, up and over your ears and then behind, and then lay your hands flat against your neck, rub down till you get to your shoulders, to your torso, and then you just want to hang here, hang your hands here, and hang your elbows down, and just hold this move here just for a moment, let's just take an in and out breath right here, and out, and on the out breath, you can slide them down, and you cross them over your heart chakra. 
And from this move here, I usually go from here to the triple warmer rub, but I'm gonna actually show you that after I show you how to do the triple warmer visor. So it is perfectly fine to end this move here on your heart chakra. You can hang out here as long as you want, but when you're ready, just bring them off, rub your hands together, shake them out. And what rubbing your hands together and shaking them out at the end of the exercise does is it lets go of any negative energy you may have unwittingly picked up because you don't want it to go into your hand chakra. So that's the first move. The second move I'm going to show you, like I said, I'll show you the triple warmer rub last, but I wanted to show you the triple warmer visor. I've had a lot of requests for this one too because this is really good for dealing with if you get cluster headaches that sort of feels like getting jabbed right on a side of your head or like behind the eye. Usually it only lasts for a few seconds, but it's bursts of extreme pain. This can really help. What you want to do is rub your hands together, get them nice and warm, and then you want to put the palms of your hands on your cheekbones and then lay index fingered pinkies, both hands on top of your head, and then bring your thumbs out onto the sides so that they're pointed at your ears on both sides. And just hold this move here, just for a few seconds. Let's just take a couple of breaths. So in and out. And one more in. And then on the out breath, you can just let it go. And again, rub hands together, shake them out. One thing I really like about the triple warmer riser, that move we just did, it is, as I said, very good for if you're having problems with cluster headaches, anything like that. But it's also another nice, calm move. Sometimes if I'm really stressed out or really panicked, I find that I just go into that move mode and hold myself there just for a few moments because I just feel like I'm alone in my own head and it just feels like a more peaceful moment. The comfort clasp that I will show you feels that way as well. I'm saving that for after I do the triple warmer rub, which is the next one that I'm going to show you. So let me just show you the triple warmer rub really quickly and then we'll get to the comfort clasp. This is the move that I said at the end of the triple warmer soother that I usually go to from here. I usually end with the hand clasp and then go to this move. And the way I do that is I go to my heart chakra and then I just slide my hands up to the top and then I just start doing the rub here. Basically, just think of this kind of like when you're cold and you're doing this, you're rubbing your triple warmer meridian. So what you want to do instead of just doing this is you want to go all the way down and across and then go all the way up, up the neck up the back of the neck and go up high enough behind the ear so that like your index fingers come up and then go back down and rub across and you just want to do this rub up and down as many times as you feel that you need it you should feel a temperature shift when you're doing this move you should feel goosebumps and it should feel good if you don't feel it it means it's not for you and you're not benefiting from it so you don't really need to do it if you're not feeling anything from it it helps to also when you're going up to breathe in and on the way down, breathe out. And again, rise up when you breathe in and let your body sink as you breathe out. And do that as much as you feel that you need it. So in the essence of making this not be a really long video, I'm just gonna go to the next move really quickly, the comfort clasp. Um, I saw this one, Dondi Dolan did this one and I tried it and I loved it. So I just wanted to share it with you. This involves a couple of meridians. It actually involves your spleen and your heart meridian, uh, meridians. I'm making sure I'm not getting my terms right wrong here, sorry. Um, index pinky finger, both hands. You wanna stick them under your armpits and leave your thumbs up here so that they're on your chest. These thumbs, when you put them straight from this position, these are on your lung points. So hold them here and just hold this move at this pose, this pose with the hands underneath the armpits, kind of tightly hold your arms together against your sides and have your thumbs up here on your chest, straight up. And just hold this pose. Let's just take a couple of breaths in this position. This is all there is to it. So breathe in and breathe out. And I've been asked by a couple of people, why does this feel so good? Why does this work so well? And again, it's because right now we're doing a few different things here. We're touching our spleen meridians, our heart meridian, lung points. And we're also, since our hands and arms are crisscrossed, we're also engaging the left and right hemisphere 
of our body. That's why this move is so comforting. It's a very consoling, help you feel safe, almost warm sensation. So I'm really hoping that was helpful. And again, rub your hands together, shake them off. And that's pretty much the whole thing. I really do hope that was helpful for you. If it was and you know anyone this might help, please let them know about it. Also, please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get notified when I put new videos up, yada yada. Um, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, comments would be nice too. Thank you so much for your time. If you are a subscriber, as always, I love you guys and I really appreciate that you keep coming and visiting me. I will be back as soon as I can, but this move is happening really soon. Apparently, we're looking at a unit tomorrow. And I asked what that meant, and she said it could mean that we'd be moving in as soon as like a week or two weeks from now. So, might not see me here again for a little while, but I will be back as soon as I possibly can. As always, namaste. Thank you so much for your time. Peace and light. I really hope that was helpful for you. Thanks again. Sending Reiki energy your way right now. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace and light.